Hi dear children, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to discuss exercise 14.1. First question. A survey was conducted by a group of students as a part of their environmental awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality. Find the mean number of plants as per house. Okay, one table is given. Which method did you use for finding the mean and why? Okay, that is our question. The given information, number of plants and number of houses. Number of houses. Okay, number of plants, 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6. 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14. Okay, this is number of plants. Uh, the given information is in the form of class interval. Number of houses 1, 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, Three. Okay, this is our given information. The number of houses that means Fi. Number of houses that means Fi. Here, I'm going to use direct method because the number of plants and the number of houses that numerical values that is very small. So we can use direct direct method to find out the mean. Okay, you can use uh, assumed mean method, no problem. Uh, here the values we have only up to 14 and small values we have here. So if you use direct method, no problem. You can use assumed method, that is up to you. Anyway, I am going to use direct method. Now class mark. That is our XI class mark. What is our class mark? Lower limit plus upper limit by 2 lower limit plus upper limit by 2 so class marks we will get it as 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 okay lower limit plus upper limit by 2 now <clears throat> fi xi fi xi that is 1 into 1, 1, 2 into 3, 6, 1 into 5, 5, 5 into 7, 35, 9 into 6, 54, 11 into 2, 22, 13 into 3, 39. Okay, so we got Fi, Xi also. The summation Fi, summation Fi, that is equal to 20 and summation Fi Xi, this is equal to 1, 6, 2. Okay, that is equal to 1, 6, 2. So, we got summation Fi and summation Fi Xi. Now, we need to find out X bar. That X bar is equal to summation Fi Xi divided by summation Fi. And this is equal to 162 divided by 20 is equal to 8.1. Okay. So, 8.1 plants. That is the mean of our given information. Now, I am going to do the second question. In second question, consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory. Daily wages of 50 workers of a factory is given. We need to find the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method. So here I am going to use assumed mean method. So the given information is daily wages and number of workers. Number of workers. Okay. The daily wages 100 to 120, 
180, 140, 140 to 160, 160 to 180, 180 to 200. Just look at the class intervals. Here the values are large. Okay, not small values. We have the class intervals. Uh, here we have large values in the class interval so we will use assumed mean method instead of direct method no problem you can use direct method then calculations will be uh, you will have big numbers in your calculations that is the only difficulty you can use direct method also no problem and the number of workers 12 14 16 17 the summation fi that is equal to 50. Now class mark. Class mark that is our xi. The class mark is lower limit plus upper limit by 2. So 110, 130, 150, 170, 190 that we will get it as class mark. So in the case of assumed mean method, we need to take one assumed mean. Okay, we need to take one assumed mean that we can choose from our xi column. Okay, so I'm going to use the middle value. This is my a. Okay, I'm going to choose the middle value. Here a is equal to 150. A is equal to 150. So the next column is di is equal to xi minus a, xi minus 150. The next one is fi into di. Okay. So xi minus 150, that is, here the xi is 110, 110 minus 150, that is minus 40, 130 minus 150, that is minus 20, 150 minus 150 is 0, 170 minus 150 is 20. 190 minus 150, 40. And fi into di, that is 12 into minus 40. Minus 4, 8, 0. 14 into 20. Minus 2, 8, 0. 8 into 0, 0. 6 into 20. 1, 2, 0. 10 into 40. 400. And the sum of this column summation fi di this is equal to minus 240 summation fi di is equal to minus 240 we will have now by using assumed mean method the formula to find the formula to find mean that is x bar is equal to x bar is equal to a plus summation fi di divided by summation fi a plus summation fi di divided by summation fi that is equal to a is 150 minus 240 divided by summation fi is 50 150 minus 240 divided by 50 and this is equal to 150 minus 4.8 150 minus 4.8 is equal to 145.2 145.2 hence the mean daily wages of workers of the factory is rupees 145.2 next third question that is very important question because in that question we need to find out the missing frequency okay Third question. The following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance of a student of a locality. The mean pocket allowance is rupees 18. Find the missing frequency. Okay. In our given information, the given information is daily pocket allowance. Okay. Daily pocket allowance is given. And number of children is given. Number of children. Okay, that is also given. So the daily pocket allowance 
in rupees that is 11 to 13 13 to 15 15 to 17 17 to 19 19 to 21 21 to 23 23 to 25 okay 23 to 25 and the number of children this is our f5 and that is 7 6 9 13 f 5 4 okay corresponding to the class 90 to 21 the frequency is not given that is f we need to find out the value of that f but in our question the mean is given Okay, the mean pocket allowance is rupees 18. Mean is given. We need to find out the value of F. So, in next step, I'm going to find class mark. Okay, here also this class intervals are very small numbers behind the class intervals. So, we can apply direct method. So, class mark that is XI. Class mark is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. 11 plus 13 by 2 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 now f5 xi x i xi seven into 12 84 6 into 14, 84. 9 into 16, 144. 13 into 18, 234. 20 into F, that is 20F. And 5 into, 5 into 22, 110. 4 into 24, 96. And summation Fi, if you calculate summation Fi, that is 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus 5 plus 4. That we will get it as 44 plus F. 44 plus F. And summation FI XI 84 plus 84 plus 144 plus 234 plus 110 plus 96. That we will get it as 752. So summation FI XI is equal to 752 plus we have 20 f okay so summation f i in this case is 44 plus f and summation f i x i is equal to 752 plus 20 f using direct method we know that x bar is equal to x bar is equal to summation f i x i divided by summation f i x bar is given in our question that is 18 so 18 is equal to summation f i x i that is 752 plus 20f all divided by 44 plus f 44 plus f now just do the cross multiplication so 18 into 44 plus f is equal to 752 plus 20f 18 into 44 plus f is equal to 752 plus 20 f and this we will get it as 18 into 44 that 792 plus 18 f is equal to 752 plus 20 f that is 20 f minus 18 f is equal to 792 minus 752 20 f minus 18 f that is 2 f is equal to 792 minus 752 40 so f is equal to 40 by 2 that is equal to 20 hence the missing frequency f is equal to 20 okay the, the value of this f is equal to 20 this is very important problem now fourth question fourth question 30 women are, were examined in a hospital by a doctor and the number of heartbeats per minute were recorded and summarized as follows. Find the mean heartbeats per minute for these women. We need to find out the mean heartbeats. So the given information is a number of 
heart beats. And number of women. Okay. 65 to 68. 68 to 71. 71 to 74. 74 to 77. 77 to 80. 80 to 83. 83 to 86. Okay, a number of women, 2, 4, 3, 8, 7, 4, 2. Now, we need to find the mean. Here, just look at the class intervals. We have some large values in the class intervals. So, I am going to apply assumed mean method instead of direct method. So, in assumed mean method, next column, we will find class mark. Okay, that is our x i. Then d i. Then f i d i. Okay, so class mark is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. Class mark upper limit plus lower limit by 2. So this we will get it as 66.5, 69.5. 72.5 75 78.5 81.5 84.5 okay upper limit plus lower limit by 2 now just look at that xi column uh, we want to choose the value of a from this xi column I'm going to choose the middle value and here the middle value is 75.5. Okay, this is the value of it. So, di is equal to xi minus 75.5. di is equal to xi minus 75.5. That we will get it as xi is 66.5 minus 75.5. That is minus 69.5 minus 75.5 minus 6. 72.5 minus 75.5 that is minus 3 and 0, 3, 6, 9. Now FI DI 2 into minus 9 minus 18, 4 into minus 6 minus 24, 3 into minus 3 minus 9, 0, 7 into 3, 21, 6 into 4, 6 into 4, 24, 9 into 2, 18. And here the summation Fi that is equal to 30 because we have 30 women. And here the summation Fi Di, summation Fi Di that we will get it as 12. Okay. So the summation Fi is 30 and summation Fi Di is equal to 12. Now x bar is equal to x bar is equal to a plus summation fi di divided by summation fi and this is equal to here the value of a is 75.5 plus 12 divided by 30 75.5 plus 12 divided by 13 30 that is 75.5 plus 0.4 is equal to 75.9. Hence, the mean heartbeats per minute is 75.9. Now, fifth question. Fifth question. In a retail market, fruit vendors were selling mangoes kept in a packet boxes. These boxes contained varying numbers of mangoes. The following was the distribution of mangoes according to the number of boxes. Find the mean number of mangoes kept in a packet packing box. So the given information is number of mangoes. Number of mangoes. 
number of boxes number of markers 50 to 52 52 to 54 53 to 55 56 to 58 59 to 61 62 64 62 to 64 and number of boxes 15, 110, 135, 115, 25 and the summation Fi is equal to 400. Just look at the class interval. We have the large values in the class interval. So I am going to use this Young to mean method. So class mark, class mark. That is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. 50 plus 52 by 2. That is 51. 54. 57. 60. 63. Okay. Now just look at the XI column. We want to choose the value of A. I am going to use the, mid use the middle value for A. Okay. I am going to choose 57 for A. So, xi minus 57, xi minus 57, that is minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3, 6. Now, we need to find fi di. fi di, the fi di is first one, 15 into minus 6, that is minus 90. 110 into minus 3, that is minus 330. 135 into 0, 0. And 115 into 3, that is 345. 25 into 6, 150. And the summation of this column, we will get it as 75. Okay, summation of that column, we will get it as 75. Then x bar is equal to a plus Summation Fi di divided by summation Fi. X bar is equal to A plus summation Fi di divided by summation Fi. And here the value of A is 57 plus 75 divided by 400 is equal to 57 plus 0 0.1875. This is equal to 57.1875. 57. 57. 1875 that is the mean in this case.